officers believe they targeted these children specifically from a shelter because they were black, forcing them to work as slaves. Being charged with the felony, child neglect. Children were being locked in a barn at his home on Cheyenne Lane. Investigators believe they targeted these children specifically from a shelter because they were black, forcing them to work as slaves. Being charged with a felony, child neglect, creating risk of injury. The two children were being locked in a barn at this home on Cheyenne Lane in Sissonville. They actually they weren't able to locate any guardians or parental figures or anybody around the, the residence or the barn and started having a conversation with two children that were inside the barn. Deputies eventually forced their way into the barn where they said they found a 16-year-old girl and 14-year-old boy inside a 20 by 14 foot room. Investigators say the teens had no way to get out of the shed with no running water, no bathroom. The girl told deputies their parents had brought them food around 6 o'clock that morning, but said her and her brother weren't allowed in the house and were locked in the barn for long periods every day. Eyewitness News spoke to neighbors who were afraid to go on camera, but claimed multiple families called police about the children's safety several times, and they are thankful they are now safe. Well, I mean, it's a pretty bad case. I mean, it's it's... You know, in any type of situation like this, it's not really comparable, a horrific condition. Like, it's just not how you want or how you would even expect children to be raised or being taken care of. Lance and Whitefeather eventually showed up at the home. They're now charged with child neglect, creating substantial risk of injury. The mother admitted the children were left in the shed, but reportedly told deputies they, quote, liked it. They're trying to, you know, get the children back in better living conditions, better placement, and the detectives will continue to investigate and build this case. And deputies said a third child who was about five or six years old was found alone in the main home. The child was found crying and close to the railing of an approximately 15-foot drop from a loft. The bond was initially set at $200,000 cash, and they were both able to post it. Prosecutors have said in a new complaint for forfeiture, the couple sold a $725,000 80-acre ranch in Washington State and sold their Sissonville home to post bond, and they believe both of these properties were paid for through trafficking. That will be decided in a separate court matter, but because of this, prosecutors say they found discrepancies in the financial affidavit Lance filled out for a court-appointed attorney, leading to a new charge on his indictment. Investigators believe they 